Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight. And today we're going to look at another firebox. Now, the fireboxes are used with boilers, and they're from Railcraft. Now, this was added after I did my my boiler spotlight. Uh, the boiler spotlight, you'll see the fuel-fired firebox in action. Uh, that uses uh, the regular coals and coal coke and stuff um, in order to get the heat into the engine, into the into the boiler. Sorry, and this uh, liquid fueled one uses some liquid fuels to do that. So that's the block as it is. You won't actually see the interface for it until we get a a boiler on top, uh, like so. So now, if we have a look. Uh, what we can see is this is the uh, the steam output. Uh, the temperature gauge is right here. This is uh, the progress on burning up the fuel, which is stored in this tank here. And this here is the water tank. Um, now I've went through all of this with uh, most of this with the the boiler on my boiler spotlight. So if you'd like to uh, know more about the boiler, please check that out. Uh, otherwise, the main thing we're concerned with is the fact that we can put liquid in instead of a, a solid fuel. Now, this on the the fuel fired solid fuel box, uh, we had four slots. So there's three here and one main slot here, uh, where we could put in our coal, charcoal, or coal coke. Um, I think blaze rods will work as well. This one instead, we got a tank, and we can put liquids in or pipe them in as you'd expect. Now how this is actually made uh, you've got four steel plates in the corners a couple of iron bars either side of a fire charge with a furnace on the bottom and a bucket on the top that gives us our liquid fuel firebox. Now it will take three different fuels which we have here uh, the creosote, the biofuel and the fuel. So if we go and have a look I will drop uh, one capsule of each um, in each uh, firebox so that we can see how warm they get um, off of one off of one unit of fuel and as you can see the creosote seems to be getting burnt up extremely quickly we're up to uh, 114 degrees before that cools down uh, which is just enough to start steam production off of one um, well let's call it a capsule but it could be a bucket now the um, this one was the biofuel as you can see this is still burning and it's still going up so biofuel is a lot more efficient than the creosote um, which has already uh, done and dusted so the fuel you use does make a difference now this is uh, the regular fuel and this looks like it might actually be lasting even longer than the uh, the biofuel but I would expect them under normal situations to last the same amount of time so I'm going to uh, leave this, this looks like it's going to take quite a bit of time and you don't want to be watching it um, so we'll leave this and come back to it in a moment right okay we're back and as you can see this biofuel one is almost run out and this steam boiler is actually almost at maximum temperature. Now these are high pressure boilers on top, and it is only a single one. Uh, maybe I should have picked something a, a little bit bigger to to show. And actually, as you can see, this one is the fuel, and it's still got a lot of. Uh, wow, the fuel lasts an awful lot longer than the biofuel. Uh, which lasts an awful lot longer than the creosote so it looks like um, this gives a, a legitimate use for fuel because that that is lasting an awful long time that's very interesting to note so if you are a fan of, of the old Billcraft fuel it's going to last a long time in a boiler a long long time so there we go the liquid fueled firebox um, that 
has certainly uh, opened my eyes to uh, to using fuel as a resource now. Um, pretty much the advent of the biofuel and biomass had kind of killed off uh, fuel usage because combustion engines were nowhere near as good as a, uh, a biogas engine. But being able to use fuel in a in a steam boiler that that's opening up new uh, new possibilities. Definitely going to be taking a look at that in uh, in some of my future future worlds, future playthroughs. And that one's just burnt out and the temperatures drop in. Whereas this this has barely even got started. Fantastic. So if uh, you've got any comments, guys, if I've missed anything out, um, please let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and follow me in all the places and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.